Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be setting up SSH in Kali Linux. The reason why I want to do this is because I'm setting up a new VM or I set up a new VM on one of my XPS laptops and I'll be traveling with this. So I wanted to get SSH set up. So I figured I'd just make a quick video on setting this up and you guys can see that process. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share and let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, so I am on my laptop. So as you can see, I am remoted into my laptop and my laptop is sitting right beside me. So let's go ahead and just uh, jump into here. I believe it's Kali Kali. I never changed it. So I'll end up changing that later on. So let's just do this really quick and get this ball rolling. So as you can see, I'm on my Kali machine. The first thing we're gonna do, I haven't booted this up in a few days. So let's go ahead and just make this larger and let's just do sudo su type in Kali because that is my default. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is apt dash get update so I can apt update. All right. So let's just update all the repositories. That's what I'm going to be doing first. And once that's done, we can proceed with the install of SSH and then setting up some stuff in the config file so we can permanently set up SSH and we'll see all that good stuff. And I try to do this on all my machines, but I don't think I ever made a video on this. So I figured I'd just make a quick video because I need to set it up because this laptop I'll be taking somewhere and uh, getting this <clears throat> all set up will be good. And I figured I'd just throw it on camera, throw the camera on and uh, get this sorted out together. So we'll let this do its updates. Let's open up a new Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's go ahead and open up a new terminal here and let's just do an IPA really quick. And my IP address is 192.168.195.1. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird, all right. <clears throat> that's fine for me. So let me go ahead and uh, let's see if I can minimize this really quick. I don't know what my, lo I think my local IP, I can get to it. I just wanna make sure I can get to my from my local, let's make this bigger if I can. All right, so I want to ping 192.168.195.128. Okay, I'm able to ping it as you guys can see here. So once SSH is set up and ready to go, we should be able to SSH from my local laptop to that. So, and you can set up, oh man, this thing is, uh, this thing is taking a second. So, and you can also set up SSH obviously behind your firewall, however you want to set it. This is just to, just for simplistic sake. And you can set up like uh, Nginx and stuff like that to do port forwarding for 22. But this is not going to be all that. This is just installing, getting configured, uh, getting SSH configured and all that stuff. And uh, we'll get on the next steps once this thing is done. So let's see what else we can get done here. Cause let's just do sudo su really quick. All right, so we'll just let this cook. Let me see, I don't even think I have anything installed in here. Let's see, let's go to tools. I don't even know, oh, pimp my Cali. That's I think what what I did is uh, install pimp my Cali. And I don't know if SSH is installed by default with pimp my Cali, so it's all good. All right, so now we did the update, you could do upgrade, but I think I have my latest and greatest here. Whoops. And my latest and greatest is 23.4 or 2023.4. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and clear this out and install SSH. So it's pretty easy. apt get install SSH. And yes, let's go ahead. I could have did a dash Y. So now we're gonna install SSH into this Kali box. And once SSH is installed, we can go ahead and clear this. So the next thing we're gonna do really quick before we you know, start and restart, or whatever, restart the service, I wanna go ahead and cat really quick, um, etc, uh, SSH, SSH, and then it's SSH, uh, shit. I think it's D underscore config. Okay, yeah. So let's go ahead. I just wanted to make sure that was it because I don't do this on a daily and I usually 
I do a quick Google search, but I didn't do that today. All right, so let's nano that really quick. And we can come down in this file and we can see all the configuration for the sshd config.d. All right, so there is a right here. So right here, permit root login prohibited passwords. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. And whoops, let's go ahead and delete all this. Here, we're just gonna type in yes. All right, that's it. So let's do control X, Y, bam, bam. And now we can just cat that out just to make sure it's good to go. And let's make sure, let's see, where is it? Uh, right, right here, okay. Was that it? No, that's not it. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is this thing? Permit root log, let's do this. Let's grip, because I don't want to look through this thing. So it's permit, uh, permit, yeah, right here. Okay, so we got that up and running now. So now let's go ahead and just clear that. And what I want to do now is just restart the service. So I'm going to do service, SSH restart. And now technically I can just do IP or if IPA, I'll just do IPA again. And now it should be all set up. So now we can copy this, go to our local machine and test this out. So let's go ahead, come here. Let's go ahead and bring this bigger CLS here. And let's see if I can make this a little larger so you guys can see it. And let's see the magic happen. SSH root at, let's see if I can paste that, okay. So far, so good. Let's type in yes. And then Kali. Hopefully it works. No. There we go. All right, so that's it for, now we can do LS, PWD, we're root, we can CD to tools. And then LS, pit my Kali. So now we are SSH into our Kali box. So now, we don't have to actually be inside of our VM. We can just SSH to it. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And until the next one, have an awesome day.